microphone now, okay? Can you hear me? Yes? Okay, uh, thank you. So I have a, a presentation today. I, I, will not, I will not read the title because I will explain uh, uh, afterwards. So it's a, a presentation of the work of Pedro Borges, who was um, one of my PhD students and who is in Brazil today and he is not here. So I am presenting his work that I supervised. Uh, before I begin, I have some uh, personal stuff to say. So I just arrived because I switched my bag in, in the hurry. I took the bag of someone else. So if someone else is looking for his bag, I just <laughs> go back to bring it back. <laughs> uh, second personal message. So um, I attend the Anna Peters uh, talk this morning. And I have to say that now I know why I choose computer science, because I have to solve simple problems, <laughs> even if sometimes it's a bit tricky. <laughs> so I am really sorry. So today I, I will not, uh, for Denis, I will not, I will not, uh, sorry. I will not uh, stop computing. I just try to reduce that just for the introduction. And also for Denny and maybe for the community, I really think that with the ICT forest, we can have, even if we have some bad effects at the short term, maybe we can have some really good effects in the long term. Long, so just, just it was, sorry, I, I have the microphone so, so I, I can say some personal message. <laughs> so okay, just I start, sorry. Um, okay, so, the, I begin to present a use case, um, which is, I don't know if you can see really good, so it's a typical IoT use case. And uh, we have, uh, it's in, in a city, uh, and at the level of the city, they have deployed some sensors. And so there is an application that needs to collect the value of the sensor periodi periodically and to show the value of the sensors when necessary. So it's, um, it's an, IoT, an example of IoT application. So, and now the context, so IoT is identified as one of the main factors of energy consumption growth, as Uc Ferbeuf uh, showed yesterday, and uh, it generates lots, lots of data. So it's the context. So now for our research work, <laughs> we reduce the focus. So he, I just wanted to introduce the fact that an IoT system is really a distributed system. So here, I wanted to show here the, the distribution of the system. So we have at your right, the, the many sensors that are very heterogeneous and that it's really difficult to communicate with. In the middle, we have an IoT platform that is masking the heterogeneity of all the sensors. And on your left, there is um, the IoT consumer application that is uh, asking for collecting the, 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 the observation of the sensors. So when I say IoT consumer application, it, <laughs> yes, of course, it consumes energy, but it's really the mean of consuming collected data. And so um, there are interactions between the IoT consuming application and the IoT platform. And uh, in the software engineering world, the interactions are mainly uh, managed by the middleware. So here we are, you, you see in the stack of software, so there is a system, there is a middleware, and there is the application. So our work is focused, so really, I focus, focus, uh, on the IoT consumer application and on the IoT middleware. So, and the middleware, it's the, really, the one that manage the interaction. So now on, um, we have, uh, so Pedro has then a, a middleware, prop, and the question next was how to um, be more energy efficient in this middleware? Can you do that? And I have to say that, you know, in, in terms of energy efficiency, there are 
lots of work that are looking at the CPU consumption because we have tools for that and not so many that are looking at the cost of the interactions. So it's, uh, yes, it was our, our uh, objective. So how to be energy efficient for the interactions and also how to bring some energy awareness that we could give back to the developers and also to the users, to the end users. So it's the two questions uh, we had. So we had a, a middleware proposal that's called IoT VAR. And uh, in the IoT VAR, you can imagine that the developer declare variables, and we call that IoT variables, but if you remember the, the, the use case example, we will have one variable by IoT sensor. So we declare variables, and each variable has a different refresh time. And uh, so our middleware, through the proxy design pattern, uh, manage the interactions with the IoT platform. OK, so we, we have seen that the first outcome of reducing uh, of, um, the, 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 this IoT VAR middleware is that you can write application more with less number of line of codes. And then the second question for today is how can also be used the, the middleware to reduce that. And as uh, Adele uh, Noureddin here <laughs> has stated before, the middleware is a good place because if you reduce, if you reduce at the system level, it's even better. But if you reduce at the middleware level, it can be used by many applications. So we thought it was a good, uh, a good level to introduce that. So in the middleware, I will not go into the detail, but we add some components software components for energy efficiency and energy awareness. And we also had, so for the, for the energy efficiency, we were asking what kind of strategy we can introduce. And we have, as I told you, uh, measuring the energy cost of the interaction. It's not so easy. So we have a lot of estimations, but the measurement is not so easy. So we have made some measurement and one of the results of those measurements is that if you, yes, here in the graph, so you send a mes message for a certain given period of time, and for 24 bytes till uh, more than 3,000 bytes, and we can see that it does not uh, grow, or it does not grow so much. So our idea was how can we use that in our IoT middleware? So from that, we get a catalog of energy efficient strategies. One of them is request grouping, and this, this one I will, uh, I will uh, talk a little bit more about. And uh, the other is just adaptation of the refresh time. Uh, it's interesting, adaptation of the refresh time, because maybe you will uh, decrease the quality of service, but you, with that, you can adapt to, to a limited energy budget. And uh, yes, so. Uh, in case of request grouping, if you, sorry, if you uh, remind the, 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 the image with a lot of sensors, so every sensor does not have the same refresh time, but if there are similar refresh time, we can group them. And so instead of sending three requests, we can uh, send one only request. It's a simple ID. <laughs> And that's that simple idea that we evaluate. So we evaluate with, um, yes, experimental uh, setup. So here uh, we had a watt meter and we just uh, measure the interaction on the application uh, side, uh, consuming application side. And we measure with three, diff we write the same applications, but the first time in blue, we don't use any middleware. In the second time, we use the middleware, but without this energy efficient strategy. And the second one with the, so remember, <laughs> blue without IoT middleware, orange uh, with, but without energy efficiency, and green with energy efficiency. So what are the results? <laughs> so you can see uh, what is interesting here. 
So you have um, the level of grouping. So we group from 25 sensors till 200 sensors. And we can, uh, we can see uh, that in all the cases, the, the middleware, if you don't use the energy efficient strategy, the middleware is as a cost. So orange is above the blue. So adding a software level has always a cost. But if we introduce the energy efficient strategy, we can reduce the cost. So that's a good, <laughs> the good thing. So I arrived to the conclusion. Uh, yes. So in this work, so we have uh, introduced some energy efficiency in an IoT middleware. And um, we have shown that it was possible while improving the development effort to also reduce the cost of um, energy consumption. So it was a good result. And as an example, it can uh, augment the lifetime of your battery for example, from uh, says how 16 hours to 31 hours, it's not too bad. Okay, but <laughs> not least, we think the, the most important would be the energy and awareness and uh, to be able to, so we have been able to use the measurement to build a model. And with this model, we can um, estimate the energy consumption of the application according to the grouping factor according to the refresh time and so to have a value of this uh, consumption and we think it's important uh, for the future and <laughs> so in the, the future yes I think it's important to put the user and the developer in the loop it's more important than uh, just reduce so it's it's one of the points we want to develop and the second point, of course, you have seen we have looked at the consumer application side, but it would be interesting to see at a service level with all the distributed components. So that's all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.